Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, MMA for self defense.com. Check it out, Sons of Anarchy. It was cool to work on stunts on that. Anyway, showing another guillotine defense, okay, uh, that I forgot about. I use this more in scrambles and wrestling in a, a, a snap down front turtle position, okay. You could use it standing too. Someone asked me about it last week, the counter guillotine, because I guess he had seen it and never back down. Now, I'm assuming, I don't remember, I think it was a counter guillotine to like WWE style feet up to the air, huge suplex. I'm not saying you can do that. My friend that has no grappling training did that in a grappling match in jeans and an NWO shirt against uh, one of the Wisniewski brothers, really good grapplers. Picked him up, suplexed him, huge suplex, feet up in the air style. What I'm talking about is this. If this guy gets me in the guillotine, I can reach around and counter guillotine him. Could I snap him and have a huge lift if I had really good hips and a strong neck and back and slam him? Uh, yeah, because my buddy did it. It's possible, but I'm going to show that position and what I really do with it. You can counter guillotine if you can reach up and get around their head. I can go around here, okay? And now there's a couple different things I can do in this position. If I, I know my stuff, okay, and I have good strong hips and basics and fundamentals of my spine, I can lift my head up, I can turn his head sideways and do a neck crank and combination neck crank and choke here, like a neck break position. If you see his head here, I'm trapping it with my ribs and I'm lifting, all right? He's here, I can go here. I'm gonna turn and do a neck break position. Be careful with this one. This is more catch wrestling style and like Russian combative style, okay? I can go opposite way with this chin, pull him out this way to control this man if I needed to move him in a certain direction for self-defense, okay, for combatives. Control the chin, you can control the man, control the head, that's where the body goes, basic wrestling stuff. That's more combative stuff. Okay, um, I'll show you how to use that on the ground to turn it into a submission. More on our knees, maybe you got me in a, in a front headlock. Snap down, we're in here wrestling, we're on the guillotine, but we can get your hips back a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna be wrestling here. I'm gonna come up here and get his chin. And I'm, not, I'm just using this as a chin grip, like Mario Sperry style. I'm gonna turn my hips, foot in, hip to hip, okay, and then go into the Cobra neck crank. Look at my video of the Cobra neck crank. Turn the corner, turn to show my hip, his hip, bring his head out, compress his head, chin this way, head up, before I let his weight go down. Boom, hit him right there. Okay, that's the Cobra neck crank. But this is showing how to do counter guillotine, and you're caught in the guillotine, in the front headlock position, and the scramble. It's really important to go to the Cobra neck crank. One more time. If I'm in here, okay, sometimes instead of like worrying about here and, and defending or trying to sit to guard, be offensive, be a wrestler, be a catch wrestler. I know you grappler, guys. Okay, put the arm over the head, grab his chin. I might be in here defending a little bit. Okay, if I want. I'm gonna step up, put hip to hip, pivot in a circle, Counter here before I let his shoulder blades hit the ground and turning him out. I always tap the guy before. I don't set him his weight down and re-lift him out. This one's dangerous. Be careful. But it's showing how to use that um, uh, principles of where the neck goes. Okay, so this is, I, I have a lot of guillotine defenses. This is one of the guillotine defenses. Okay, again, standing. He's got me here. I could come around here and I can submit him with a neck crank. I can work, of course, with this arm if I wanted. Um, I can turn this way to then work this arm behind him. Okay, if I wanted to control this man to then chicken wing him this way, I can put his head in between my crotch, get a little bit of a neck crank action, and a broken arm, shoulder, elbow lock there, double down on wrist lock. You can play with it, guy. even if he knows what he's doing, he's got his hips low. By him grabbing you, he's also weakening his system. Okay, you got me here. I might be getting choked again. You guys can lift up and defend, look at my other ones. But if I get around here, I can work. I can work on this, I can work on the neck. Neck crank. Twirl if I need Move him. I could have popped out and went to here. Or I can work this way. Take down, arm bar. Grab one more time, Chris. So, here, maybe he snaps me down. Snap me down on the ground. Boom, go down my ground. Okay, but I got this. Turn the corner, okay? Turn the corner, lift your head. Always get good separation. Step it hard. Turn this thing. 
the rip and right there. Even if I lose it, I can't tap them out. I'm in a control position. See my weight's not on the ground. Catch wrestling style. Hips are floating. My weight is on this mat. I'm ready to do side knees for self-defense or Asian MMA rules, old pride rules. You know, you're in a good position. So play with the chin grip. Um, Mario Spiri and I believe for a while the old team quest guys were really using that a lot. Matt Linlin, Dave Henderson. And um, there's the counter D18 that I get asked about. How you can actually use it to do stuff. Uh, one last time. Like this. So I control the guy this way. I control him this way. Control him here. And then I can move here. And then dangerous neck right there. Steven Seagal style. I'm Dan Wolfman. Go to MMA for self Thanks, guys.